In 2009, Texas Democrat Representative Carol Kent opposed a bill that requires voters to present a photo ID card in order to vote. I wonder why. Let's look at the facts. This house, which is abandoned and boarded up, has four registered voters. This house, which is clearly boarded up and hasn't been lived in for months, somehow has three registered voters. And this Studio 6 motel, interestingly enough, has 10 registered voters. Now this tiny one-bedroom house somehow has seven registered voters. And what do these locations all have in common? They're all in precincts that vote heavily Democratic in Carol Kent's district. Seem questionable? Hold on. We're just getting started. This house, listed at 12543 Rialto, doesn't even exist. And it has two more registered voters. Here's the house registered to another voter. This one-bedroom house somehow has nine registered voters. This 950-square-foot house somehow has 12 registered voters. And numbers show that Precinct 1725 in Carroll Kent's district had a voter turnout of 139% in 2008. Again, seems a bit odd, doesn't it? Makes you wonder why Carol Kent opposes a simple measure to crack down on voter fraud, requiring a photo ID to vote. Vote for Stephanie Carter, a tough prosecutor who will crack down on voter fraud, not turn a blind eye.